Maybe some golf balls. <laughs> this is when you get really mad and take out a sandblast. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. And um, in, in here is a jar jelly beans. But to keep you from opening the jar now, why we thought we'd give you a little bit of the roll. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's right. And then when they start counting cavities. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having us in. This is a thrill. And I understand you do a little bit once in a while. You have to become. Tell them what your, your handicap used to be when you were in Hollywood. Well, it was uh, 14. Huh. And I was the most sought after 14 uh, <laughs> golfer as a partner in the club because it was when I was in pictures. Mm -hmm. So you'd be weeks and weeks away and no one could come to club because of, you know, work. Then you would come back and start turning in your scores again. And so I was usually shooting around 78 to 82 with a 14 <laughs> grand <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. They had a, they had a club turning once of, uh, the guys that ran for a month. And you turned in your scores for a month. And they, at the end of the month, they took the best score you had on each hole of the course. And then you won the new golf shoes. If you had the horse. I got the golf shoes. <laughs> I ended up with 18 birdies. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's, that's true. Not, that's not that's true. Not, it was always golf every day, or then no golf. They all went like Now it's golf every New Year's. <laughs> in the spring, it's water. <laughs> I, I heard that, that that was a, a great, once a year we get out there for a day or two events. But I can tell you all something that I learned. You make no allowances for yourself. You get just as mad as you want. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hard to justify it because you know you can do it, but it's just you haven't been doing it. <laughs> well, Mr. President, thanks a lot. Thank yeah, you very much. much. Yes, I appreciate it. Have a nice time. Come on. You heard what you said. Here it is. Other hands. Other hands. Did you get that right? All right. That's too much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Good luck, guys. Thank you for making this up. This is fantastic. So you guys are real busy. Well, thanks. Thank you.
I find myself hard pressed to be as enthusiastic as I'd like to be in regard to whatever I can do to help in some of the campaigns. And when I find myself on the opposite side of our own Republican senators with regard to appointments that are, according to the Constitution, the right of the President to make. With that, uh, let's open it up. Hello, Mr. Sir. Secretary. Hi. It's nice, nice to see you. Jack Hi, Jack. Alan Dixon. Nice to see you. Thanks. Come in and sit down. Thank you. Where do you want to put that? Right there. All right. Is that and I want to thank you in the last couple of years for all the spirits you've been in a number of things. Well, I'm delighted. Uh, I'm pleased to support you on many occasions and uh, feel that you're uh, always understanding of our problems in Illinois, and I appreciate that. May I say that we over Mr. President, is an old and dear friend who has been around Illinois politics for many years, and I've known him back from my early days in the Illinois House. And I commend you. That's why you should vote for us more often. <laughs> <laughs> I know that uh, your time is valuable, and I'd like to take about seven or eight minutes of your time to present my case as well as I can, because I'm sincere when I think, when I say that I think, uh, Mr. Secretary, that uh, the administration ought to look at tax amnesty. <clears throat> I'm first going to tell you what my bill does. My tax amnesty legislation is patterned after the Illinois tax amnesty bill. It consists of a carrot and a stick. The carrot is that we have a six month period when anybody can come in and fess up and pay up on back taxes they owe for the last seven years without any civil or criminal penalties and pay only 50% of the interest they owe on those taxes. The stick is, and it's a big one, that after that six month period, we put on an additional 3,000 IRS agents who bring in 12 and a half times their annual salary each, some as much as 40 times. Very nice to see you, sir. Well, it's good to see you. Mr. President, it's kind of still there. I'm at a patient digest. So well, nice to see you, sir. See you. We're, uh, we're just honored and pleased to be here today. Well, we're pleased and honored to have you. Don't you think maybe we better okay. turn around and give him a... Well, I think you should be in the middle. How about well, that? I don't think <laughs> I should be in the middle. <laughs> On behalf, of, uh, on behalf of, of uh, all of us at the Digest, uh, my fellow editors, and all the other uh, 3,000 employees of the magazine and our 56 million readers, we really are honored that uh, you appeared in our pages and we wanted you to have as a permanent memento a, a bound volume of, of the article uh, that uh, has already, I'm sure, had a great effect. Uh, your, one of our favorite writers, so we're really pleased. Well, so I thank you. Thank you, to you sir. Well, I'm very pleased and proud to have this. I just had your latest one up. Very good. Uh, up on my desk upstairs right now. In fact, I am waiting till Nancy gets home tomorrow night so I can show her and make her read the little article on Lori. Yes, you know, yes, talking yes, about. Uh, yes. I want to see Light a candle for Lori. I right. want to see yes. what happens when she reads that letter yes, that 14 year old wrote. Oh, boy, yeah. I think there may be a tear or two. Oh, Nancy tear cries when she sends the laundry out. <laughs> <laughs> she really puddle up on that. Uh, Mr. President, well, this morning uh, I came down and gave a little talk at the National Press Club uh, in this very same issue, in the back of the issue. Uh, there is a business roundtable advertisement which is an advertisement that says halt the deficit. And these cards have been coming in to the extent of uh, one million cards have been dist distributed and they've been mailed to their congressmen uh, and by congressman and by senator. For example, Senator Alf uh, Alphonse D'Amato would have received 49,900 cards saying from his constituency, halt the deficit. And Cranston got a lot. Cranston received 98,998 cards saying halt the deficit. Good. So this morning I came down and, and gave this little um, chat at the National Press Club. And in addition, we did a, a poll over the weekend which said that the number <coughs> one concern on the part of the American public was halting the deficit. With Gallup. And it was a Gallup poll who did it for the Reader's Digest. Uh, and it's interesting that 54% of the people said that it was the single biggest problem. In addition, uh, that it was 64% when you go to college educated people. So we produced a button which I distributed to the National uh, 
press group that was at the breakfast this morning, and I, want, I wanted to present you one, which is Hawker well, Deficit too. Thank, thank you very you. much. I'm not sure you want to wear it, but at least it <laughs> <laughs> You're very nice to let us come here. Thank well, you very this, much. I appreciate Thank this, you. too. Thank very you. Honest. Thank you for your time. Good well, luck in the very delicate things that are going on these days. We appreciate the position you're taking. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. I think I'll keep this in the desk, and I will wear that when we have, <laughs> when we have congressional groups here. Good idea. My number again. Pleased to have that. Here. Next, we have one of your Secret Service super. I guess we gotta do the traditional snapshot. Hmm. God bless President Reagan. Hmm. in charge of a Washington field office. Oh. So I can't very well oh. turn that down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to that also. Well, my goodness. Why don't you ladies get in the middle and we get a formal picture here. Thank you. Would you like a, a single? Yes, if we could. I would appreciate okay. it very much. Well, now wait a minute. Oh, oh you've got them over there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, listen, I hate to see you go, but I appreciate you. And I really need a little something to hold the papers down. Oh, thank desk. you very much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Pin. Well, thank you very much. And this is a charm for a oh, charm bracelet if you have such a thing. Yes. Thank you. Thank I do you appreciate it. Well, listen, well, good luck to you. Thanks for it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm going to miss the ranch and Camp David and all those good times we have up there. But uh, I'll be uh, uh, back in the area soon, I hope. And, uh, where are you going? Going to Winston Salem, North Carolina, sir. Down in my hometown. Oh, well. <laughs> Why don't you and I go over in front of the fireplace and then you come in. We'll have one version. Okay, fine. Good. Okay. Well, listen, thank you very much for everything. Well, I appreciate it. 
We miss you. Thank you. Miss Payne here, too. Well, they said you're not leaving the town. Thanks for your time. Well, great pleasure. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, Mr. President. <laughs> don't, don't know that I got that quite down there. <laughs> Hi, Mr. President. Hi, how are you? This is my little sister, Toby. Hello there. Nice to see you. My mother, Barbara. How are you? Very nice to meet you. My sister in law, Laura. Hi, Mr. President. My father, Bob. Hi, how are you? My brother, Jim. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Well, why don't we gather in a group here and have a little picture talk? Great. <laughs> All right. Just let me do a couple more since there's so many people <laughs> <laughs> character for about 12 years. Back in 1972, when you were doing all that welfare reform and Rockefeller got religion, he hired me and some other people, and we learned from him and do Bob Carlson. You, you remember at the governor's conference? When you I told do governor remember, Rockefeller? yes. He's one of the people he hired to run his welfare department. We, we, we crisscrossed the country to talk to him and to everybody else who learned from you people, and we really did something. Well, it was a real accomplishment on your part, and we did some of our own. <laughs> well, good luck, and we miss you. We miss you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. President. 